Good morning, YouTube. How are you? It is Monday, March 4th, 2013. I apologize for this. I woke up this morning and I did not get very much sleep last night. Um, and I'm not sure when I would be able to make a video today, so I kind of have to just do it right after I wake up, so sorry. Um, today is my 52 week update. So I had my surgery March 5th, so my surgiversary is actually tomorrow, um, but I had my surgery on a Monday, which means this is week 52. Um, I am a year out. That is insane. <laughs> I could not imagine being a year out, um, and now I am. So let's get to what you're waiting for. Um, I weighed myself this morning. I was 217.8. Six, I think, which means I had a three pound gain this week. Um, I wish I could sit here and say, I have no idea, but I know exactly why. I've eaten so much sodium this week, and um, Friday I went out and bought three boxes of Girl Scout cookies at like four o'clock in the afternoon, and by four o'clock on Saturday they were gone. Um, and when you take into account, you know, sleeping and I don't know, in about, that means that in about 8 to 10 hours, I ate three boxes of Girl Scout cookies, which are approximately 1,000 calories each. So that's 3,000 calories in Girl Scout cookies alone, not to mention all the sodium I've eaten this week. Um, but the advance, so yeah, I've gained, gained three pounds. So that means that in a year since surgery, I have lost 84 pounds. Um, when I started, I was a size 30. I am now in a size 18. Um, and I, I spent all weekend, like, thinking of a bunch of things. I get very reflective on the weekends now, which is good, because I used to get really, really depressed. And now, since I've been on the medication, I'm reflective, and I'm trying to figure things out, and it's nice. Um, sorry, it was my alarm. Okay, um... So I get reflective, and that's that's nice, but I was going to sit here and do this whole big lecture about how 84 pounds wasn't what I thought it, you know, I would lose. I thought I would lose more, and how we kind of have in our heads that we should lose at least 100 pounds to be successful. But the more I thought about it, I'm like, 84 pounds is amazing. Um, if my doctor came, if I seen my doctor today, which I actually see him on Wednesday, but if I saw him today and... He said, okay, well, you need to lose another 84 pounds. That would seem monstrous to me because it's 84 pounds. <laughs> but for some reason, when that's what you've already lost, it doesn't seem like it's that much, but it really is. So, um, and you'll see exactly how much it is, um, at least on my body tomorrow, because I'm going to make a very special video for my surge anniversary. Um, it's going to kind of be in two parts, and I will tell you the last part is going to be before and after pictures, which I've never done before. Um, which, speaking of which, I guess I should do a full body shot because it's my 12 month, and I'm trying to do full body shots every month. So um, I'm in my pajamas, so it doesn't really count, but. Lucky me, now you can tell where I used to work, um, lucky me, I'm in all black pajamas, sweatpants, and a black shirt, so I probably look a lot slimmer than I actually am. Um, but, I mean, you could tell I've, I have excess skin, and I can't believe I'm going to show this again on camera, but you could definitely see in my arms I have excess skin. Like, I might have muscle up here, and it might even be a little defined, but this is all excess skin. It's um, like that on both my arms. I have it in my stomach. I have it a lot on my thighs because I did so much walking. My butt is droopy. My boobs are droopy. But that's what happens when you lose a lot of weight. Whether you lose it, you know, naturally or you lose it with a tool like weight loss surgery, you're going to have that. So, um, yeah, so I'm making a special video tomorrow. Be sure to watch it because I'm kind of excited about it. I got to put a lot of effort into it, which... Is different than just turning this camera on and saying hi. Um, I want to also, because it's been a year out, I really need to say thank you to you, um, to every, to YouTube. This place has been my 
support. Um, I know for a fact I would not have, have, have been as successful as I've been without YouTube. YouTube is where I've met a lot of people. It's where I found out about the East Coast meet and greet. It's where I've learned a lot about a lot of you. So that when we go to these meet and greets, we're like, oh, it's you. I know all about you because I've watched your videos. Um, it's allowed me to be candid and honest and accountable. And it gives people the opportunity to see what surgery is really like from people who've really had it. I have no sponsors to sit here and encourage or um, to make happy. So I just tell you the truth. And sometimes it's pretty and sometimes it's not. Um, but I really, really appreciate you so much, and I appreciate you watching my videos and commenting. I have a lot of people who watch regularly who comment almost every video. Um, it's just sincerely appreciated, and the, I can't even put into words how valuable this community has been to me. So just thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm going to kind of do like a little product um I just, just got done saying I don't have any sponsors. Now I'm like, let me show you these products. <laughs> but really, I'm just going to show you some products that I use on a, on a daily basis or a nearly daily basis that's really been helpful to me because sometimes people run out of ideas or they're not quite sure what to expect. And I haven't changed my eating habits a whole ton. Um, that will be changing as of tomorrow because I'm going back to, um, back to basics and I'm also going to be starting an intermittent fast every week. Um, which you can learn a lot about intermittent fasts on YouTube. I've done a lot of research, um, and I've learned a lot about it. I understand why I'm doing it. Um, I'm just going to do like a 16-8 fast, which is where you fast for 16 hours, then you have eight hours during the day where you can eat. Um, you can set your own times. So I'm pretty much, um, and fasts are not like, we've, we've come to think that you have to eat five or six times a day for your metabolism to go up, and they've kind of researched it, and all the research shows that that's not true, that eating 2,000 calories a day spread over five or six meals is exactly the same. Your body handles it exactly the same as if you were to eat one meal at 2,000 calories. Um, I'm sure it does impact blood sugar levels, but for the, for the purpose of metabolism and fat loss, it's actually more beneficial to do... Um, at least once or twice a week to do an intermittent fast. So I'm going to start doing that Sunday to Monday. Um, and then for the first couple days, like Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, I was going to try to do a week, but I think it's a little dramatic. So at least for one, one to three days, I'm just going to do the protein shake thing, the liquids, jello, you know, sugar-free popsicles, that kind of thing, like we had to do when we first got out of surgery, because I really need to clean my palate and get that sugar out of my system and, um, kind of start all over. So, um, but these products are things that I use that are very helpful that I've been able to incorporate into my life very seamlessly and they're helpful. Um, but before I do that, I want to real quick answer a question that somebody asked me, a new sub asked me, which is a great, great question. Um, she is considering having, having, um, um, gee, I can't talk, considering having weight loss surgery, but she's also, uh, bipolar and she was worried about the malabsorption issues. Um, with surgery on your medication. All I can tell you is that when I first had surgery, um, I had a, pre a nurse pre-op who was doing some of my pre-op testing who made the mistake, and this is a lie, but she made the mistake of telling me that after surgery, my depression would be so much better and I wouldn't even need my meds. And at the time, I was on Zoloft. Um, it wasn't really helping with the mood swings, but it was helping with the depressive part. Um, so the day of surgery, I just went off everything. I stopped using my CPAP machine. I stopped taking the Zoloft. I stopped taking my Advair for my asthma. I stopped taking uh, my acid reflux medication. I just stopped taking everything because I was so eager for work, surgery to work. Um, and at my three-month appointment, I kind of realized it was probably a mistake to go off the Zoloft. I was a little bit depressed. Um, and my doctor was like, had I known you went off everything, I would have been screaming at you because you should not have gone off anything until I gave you permission. Um, but fast forward to the summer, I was good all summer, and then October came, and it was just like, bam, like I was hit with a truck. That's what it felt like. And my bipolar has been the worst it has been in my entire life. Um, I just recently got a Lamictal, which is an, a medication I've never been on before. Um, and I'm increasing my dosage every two weeks. 
Um, I'm now up to 100 milligrams, a, um, 100 milligrams every day. And I have not noticed any malabsorption issues. Um, the only thing I can say is that everyone kept telling me it was going to make me so tired, it was going to make me so tired. But it doesn't make me tired at all. It actually keeps me awake. So that could be due to malabsorption. But in terms of balancing and helping the bipolar, it does an amazing job. I'm very happy with it. So don't, um, don't necessarily worry about you know, surgery affecting it. Um, stay on your meds. Stay, 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 stay on your meds. Um, and just let your psychiatrist or your prescriber know that you're having gastric bypass and or whatever surgery you've opted to have. And um, they, they know. They're, they're experts. They know what to do. Okay, so anyway, um, this video is already at 10 minutes, so I'm going to kind of try to hurry up a little bit. If you don't want to watch the product review, the end of it is just going to say, onward, I'm going on to bigger and better things. I'm, I've got six more months, technically, of this honeymoon period, and I'm going to continue to lose weight. That's really all I'm going to say. So if you don't want to watch the product review, connect it now. I will see you later. Um, but real quickly, um, I'll start with the protein. Well, first, you've got to have your blender bottle. Um, if you don't know what this is, it's just a cup. Inside the cup is this little ball. It's like a squeegee ball. You put your protein in here, you put your water, or I use 1% milk with my protein shake. You put it in here. You put the lid on, and you just shake it up. Um, I have two of these. I think I think this is like, um, well, okay, I see right here. This is a 12-ounce one. Um, so that's that. Um, as far as protein, I have two different proteins that I use. This one I don't use a whole lot. It is Nectar oh, Twisted Cherry. Um, it tastes basically like cherry Kool-Aid. Um, you mix it with water, mix it up, and it's fine. It'll have like a little bit of uh, froth on the top of it. Like, yeah, it'll have like froth on the top of it. But um, it is 100 calories and 23 grams of protein. So, and it tastes fine. There's, no, there's, you don't taste all the froth on top. You just taste the protein. So it tastes fine. It tastes like Kool-Aid. Um, my choice for my protein shakes is this Body Fortress Super Advanced Whey Protein in chocolate. I've only used chocolate. I've never used any other brand or any other flavor because I love this. It tastes like chocolate milk. Um, this has, if you do one scoop, it's 140 calories and 26 grams of protein. But I always have it with milk, so your milk has 8 more grams of protein, so it ends up being about 33 grams of protein. And I think it ends up being like somewhere around 300 calories. So 300 calories, 33 grams of protein, it's pretty much the 10-1 rule, which is 10 grams of protein for every 100 calories. That's pretty much what they want you to have. Um, so this fits those requirements. If you have two scoops, it's 270 calories and 52 grams of protein. And it just tastes more chocolatey. It doesn't taste gross. There's no aftertaste for either of these. And that's why I like them. Um, let's see what else. To drink, I use my Lipton. Decaffeinated. Do you see right here? Decaffeinated. It has to be decaffeinated. Um, this is the cold brew because I like, um, I like cold tea. I drink it all the time. I make a gallon of it at a time, and I make probably about five gallons a week. <laughs> so... I use this, I use four of these in a gallon, and I also put in, and this is just a generic brand, but it's um, artificial sweetener, I'll put in like, usually like a, in a gallon, I'll put in a cup of this, and it tastes like sweet tea, um, and it counts towards your water because it's decaffeinated, although I learned yesterday that um, tea and coffee still count towards your water intake because even though, even if it's caffeinated, it still counts because the ratio of caffeine to water is such that the water still overpowers that. So even though it's a diuretic and it causes you to go to the bathroom 18,000 times a day, it still counts towards water. Because if you think about it, when you drink a lot of water, you still have to pee a lot anyway. So it's kind of the same thing. So I use these together a lot. Um, I also... I have Crystal Light. 
Um, this is, you can't see because it's too bright, fruit punch. I love the fruit punch. It's really all I've drank for the past year. I just bought a lemonade one that I'm probably going to use during the summer. I just kind of like to twist it up a little bit, get a little crazy. <laughs> but I love the fruit punch. It tastes really good. I have a, a two-quart um, pitcher. You use one of these with water, and there's no calorie. Oh, I'm sorry, five calories. I'm sorry, five calories. Actually, it says for one-eighth packet, and there's 48. So that actually means, damn it, they're going to make me do math. So that actually means there's about 30 calories. But there's no sugar, nothing. It's just 30 calories, and you can afford 30 calories in a drink. Um, as a snack, these are so good. I know you've seen the commercials. Jesus, I can't operate this camera. These are the Fiber One Chocolate Fudge Brownies. They also have chocolate chip cookies. Um, they're actually, they're not a bad size. It's just like a little, it says this much, but the actual brownie is like right here. And it is a fudge brownie with chocolate chips in it. It tastes just like a fudge brownie with chocolate chips in it. Um, it is 90 calories, 8 grams of sugar, and 1 gram of protein. Um, but the fiber in it is five grams of fiber, which is why it's fiber one. So if you have trouble getting your fiber in, this is a delicious way to do it. It's very, very good. And since I mentioned that, I'll do my last two products. Um, a lot of people have issues getting their fiber in, and I'm one of them. These last two products I don't use very often. I need to start incorporating them more. But this is the Benefiber. I wish my camera wasn't shining like that. Um, it's the Benefiber Grit-Free dissolving powder. It is sugar-free. Um, it is tasteless, odorless. You wouldn't even know it was in there. You take a teaspoon, you put it in whatever drink you're having, you mix it in, it completely dissolves. You don't even know it's in your drink. You don't taste it. You don't smell it. You don't nothing. Um, and this has three grams of fiber and 15 calories for two teaspoons. So if you have issues getting your fiber in, um, this is really, really good. Like I said, I bought this at surgery, and there's still more than half of it left because I don't really use it that often. Um, I should. And this last one is for people who have issues with their calcium, which is like almost all of us. And I found out from about this through Dawson, um, who is Pierce Cub 32 on YouTube. But this is called UpCal. It is calcium. Um, it's a like a calcium powder, you also mix this in your drink and it dissolves. You can't taste it, can't smell it, can't nothing. Um, it has 500 milligrams of calcium as well as 500 units of vitamin D3. So it's really good and we're all supposed to be getting more calcium. Um, I got the, I just went online and I think I bought this on Amazon. Um, it was relative, I think it may have been, I don't even remember how much it was, but I'm going to tell you that it probably wasn't more than $20, $25 because I wouldn't have bought it. Um, so it's called UpCal-D. It's calcium with vitamin D. Um, for one scoop, it's nine calories. Um, and it ends up giving you 500 units of vitamin D and 2,500 milligrams of calcium, which is, I'm not understanding. It says 2,500 milligrams of calcium citrate, which is 500 milligrams elemental, whatever that means. I'm not, I don't know any of this crap, so I'm just telling you what it says. Um, this, it does dissolve almost completely, but I have such a psychological issue with mixing stuff in my drinks. I tried it once, and all I kept thinking is, there's calcium in my drink, there's calcium in my drink, there's calcium in my drink. And I prefer orange juice, which is, and milk, and to get my vitamin C and I'm just rambling now. So I really need to start using this more because I probably, I'll get my labs back on Wednesday and I'll see what they say. And if I'm deficient in calcium and vitamin D, which I'm almost sure the vitamin D I am, um, then I will start taking it. Otherwise I'm just going to see what my doctor says. Um, anyway, yeah, so that's it. Thank you so much for watching long, long video, but happy year to me. Um, I look forward to seeing what happens in the next six months. I'm hopefully going to be in Atlantic City this year. I'm going to try and get a ticket. Um, and even if I don't get a ticket, I think I might just go to Atlantic City and hang out with everybody because you all are going to hang out Saturday night and Sunday, just like you guys did last year, or we all did last year. I went last year. 
Um, so I think I'm going to try to go this year. Um, so I will see you guys all then. And by August, you'll know whether I stuck to my new, my uh, plan of um, going back to basics because it'll show. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for watching. And um, I will talk to you guys all soon. Have a great week. And um, look for my new Surgiversary video tomorrow. I will talk to you guys soon. Thanks for watching. Bye.